Maestro, why was it that in spite of the vogue of the guitar in the 19th century, that still, when you began, there was no repertoire? Because of the guitar is a very complicated instrument. By being the only string instrument really polyphonic, it is impossible to compose if you don't play it, and if you don't play it well. For instance, it is like a, an orchestra uh, to which we could uh, look with the reverse sides of a binoculars. I mean by that, that everything, every instrument of the orchestra is inside the guitar but in smaller sound size. It has many different colors, many different uh, timbers, and it is necessary to develop those quality of the instrument. For instance, if you have to play sound that, The same thing. All that has different color. And for instance, the, uh, what it is called here the pizzicato. Cello. This pianissimo. It is not really as uh, listening to music, but better dreaming with music. Do you mean that when a composer has written something for you, that you then decide which of these colors to use, or do they indicate things that they want? When they indicate, so to speak, the orchestration of their work in the guitar, uh, mostly they make me laugh, because it is impossible, impossible what they pretend. Maestro, what is the first reaction of a composer when you try to interest him in writing for the guitar? Well, the first reaction is the last one also, because from the beginning, when they hear something played in the guitar and written by them, they never more stop writing for the guitar. So Castelnuovo has already uh, written about uh, 140 pieces. Ponce did the same thing. Torroba, Turina, Tansman, Villalobos, all of them have a continuum until the end. You said that Torobo was the first person to write yes. for you. He uh, answered to my request the first. After him, Turina and Falla. <laughs> 